Deterioration in renal function, acute kidney injury, is common during critical illness. Acute kidney injury describes a spectrum of reduced renal function, from small reductions in urine output and associated small rises in serum creatinine, to total loss of renal function. The term acute kidney injury replaces terms such as acute renal failure, renal impairment, acute tubular necrosis and renal dysfunction. These terms were relatively imprecise and should no longer be used. Acute kidney injury describes reductions in renal function, but it is not diagnostic. The most common way of defining acute kidney injury is using the RIFLE criteria. The letters stand for R, risk of renal dysfunction, I, injury to the kidney, F, failure of kidney function, L, loss of kidney function, and E, end-stage kidney disease. Worsening rifle classification indicates reducing GFR. Rifle class R, or risk of renal dysfunction, indicates a reduction in GFR of 25%. This is reflected clinically by a rise in serum creatinine of 50% above baseline, or your urine output of less than 0.5 mils per kilogram per hour for six hours. Rifle class I, or injury to the kidney, indicates a GFR decrease of 50%. It is reflected by a rise in serum creatinine to double the baseline value, or urine output less than 0.5 mils per kilo per hour for 12 hours. Rifle class F, or failure of kidney function, represents a GFR decrease of 75%. Serum creatinine is trebled, or urine output is less than 0.3 mils per kilo per hour for 24 hours, or anuria is present for 12 hours. Rifle class L, or loss of kidney function, occurs when complete loss of kidney function has been present for more than four weeks. And rifle class E, end-stage kidney disease, represents loss of kidney function for more than three months. Note that a patient can fulfil the criteria for acute kidney injury through changes in serum creatinine or changes in urine output, or both, and that the criteria that lead to the worst possible classification should be used in deciding which rifle categorisation the patient falls into. Patients with chronic kidney disease can also have an acute kidney injury. Rifle class F is present even if the increase in serum creatinine is under threefold in patients with chronic kidney disease, as long as the new serum creatinine is greater than 350 micromoles per litre, in the setting of an acute increase in serum creatinine of at least 44 micromoles per litre. Worsening renal function is associated with increasing mortality in the critically ill. In one study of almost 42,000 patients, those in rifle class R were found to have a 21% mortality. Patients with class I acute kidney injury had a 46% mortality, and those with class F had a 57% mortality. Patients who had no AKI during their ICU stay had an 8% mortality. Acute kidney injury is common in critically ill patients. In one study, acute kidney injury occurred in 67% of patients, with 12% achieving a maximum class of R, 27% I and 28% F. Progression of acute kidney injury is common. Of the 1,500 patients who reached class R, more than half progressed to either stage I or stage F. In conclusion, the term acute kidney injury encompasses the entire spectrum of acute renal dysfunction from whatever cause, from minor changes in renal function to requirement for renal replacement therapy and permanent loss of function. The RIFLE criteria are used to define acute kidney injury. Increasing mortality is associated with worsening RIFLE classification in critically ill patients. Small changes in kidney function in hospitalised patients are important and should be addressed if possible to prevent further deterioration.